I was born and grew up in Transylvania just before the war. When I was 12 or so, I decided I will be a chemist. Graduated high school at 15 and I started university. So when I graduated, I was ready really to do research and I started doing research at the Pharmaceutical Research Institute in Kolozsvár. I started work at my age of 20 and I am still working. I also was interested in theoretical quantum chemistry and that brings up Michael Dewar, the brilliant physical organic chemist. Yes, Michael Dewar had a tremendous influence. I was like a son for him and he was a brilliant man. Every time I talked to him, I learned something. Then Professor Takeru Higuchi, who is the, considered the father of physical pharmacy, uh, advertised a job at his new company, and in a year or two I became director of chemical research there. It was a very interesting new company. When I was uh, joining university, I joined as a full professor, and in half a year, I became chairman of the medicinal chemistry. I had very good collaborators. I, one thing I could motivate people. I, I was always a hard working and uh, that, that affected people. Drug discovery and drug design is a very complex process. It involves many disciplines from chemistry, medicine, pharmacology, pharmacokinetics, formulation, etc. So, if you want to be successful, you have to control all these processes related to the drug discovery. And during this process, uh, I realized, as many others, that success in, in average, about 10,000 promising molecules, one will make it as a drug. One of the early, very important and successful drug discovery uh, was the soft corticosteroids. Now over 90 million prescriptions were done and it's, it's a very successful, it's a very safe drug. Uh, my wife told me that, she said, you taught so many people how to do research, you should do it to your children too. So that was part of the reason to set up Bodor Laboratory so I could work with Eric and Nicole in this company and it is still going pretty good. It's tremendously satisfying to work with my kids and see them developing and being interested. There is no other drug which could be help, helping and in the US uh, more than 3% of the people suffer of hyperhidrosis. So this is an important new development and that was basically done by us at Bodor Laboratories. So I feel very honored to be inducted in the Florida Inventors Hall of Fame. It's really uh, make me feel humble to be included in, in such group of international, well-known uh, personalities uh, which now are in the Hall of Fame. So it's a tremendous uh, honor. As a Floridian, I, I uh, enjoy sharing my success with fellow Floridians. In the University of Florida, and particularly Dean Julie Johnson, supported me in my late career. I hope part of my legacy at the University of Florida, which I always remember with very fond memories. I work all the time. I, I have ideas laying around in my brain, I can see structures in three dimension and binding 
and uh, many other aspects and until something really triggers something new but I'm lucky to work in a field which is also my hobby. I like it.